Hi guys, Neville from Enjonzo Reptile Park again. Today we're going to be sharing a clip of, of uh, a green mamba capture. But just a little bit of insight here. Our um, clips that we show of rescues, you must remember is done with a GoPro, cell phone. Uh, it's basic, basic equipment. We don't have stabilized cameras. We don't have a cameraman that is assigned to the job. So this is essentially as raw and as connected as it gets. There's no reenactments, there's no placings. This is all conservation in operation. Blondo Reptile Park literally exists for conservation. It funds 600 out of 900 callouts a year, which is quite a lot. And it all amounts to money. Uh, snakes need to be fed, snakes need to be treated, and they need to be driven out again and released again. So please have fun watching our clips and uh, subscribe, like our posts, and um, see you guys at the end of the show. Cheers. that was curled up at the briar or inside the briar, underneath the briar or had something to do with the briar and uh, Helen and I responded we got there uh, it's one of those very frustrating estates to go to the security just got no sense of urgency don't understand that light is failing there's a snake on the premises and uh, we need to get there so it, it was this whole major mission to get into the state first of all and then we got there and there was nobody to direct us to where it was so we were running around and asking people and eventually somebody pointed us in the direction of the bright by the time we got there, there was no snake. But, standing there, I could hear the birds making a racket in this tree. So I thought, well, maybe this python had now gone to the tree and climbed up into the tree. So I went to the tree and uh, was scanning it was dark already so it was difficult to see anything and uh, eventually um, all I saw was a sort of round section which just didn't make sense in a tree there shouldn't be any round shape in a tree so um, after a long time we eventually managed to organize a ladder for the place climbed up into the tree
What do you do for fun? Plum trees. <laughs> so many snakes as well. When I was working in, in that reservoir by Mendini. Uh, okay. Um, what were you doing? Mozambique, spitting okay. cobras, black mambas, full up. Um, you okay then, Nev? Tonight it is. Um, Can you sort of see it though? Huge green mamba. Okay. okay. Let's go slowly, hey? It's a long way up there. Oh shit, there it is too. Right above us. That thing dropped. <laughs> Don't run, hold the ladder. <laughs> Got him. He's moved yeah. I can see it's moving yeah. Okay, I was gonna stop this. Climbed up into the tree. Uh, it hadn't quite got dark enough. And so when I got up and I put the light on the snake, it was still properly awake. And uh, the snake then started to move off in the dark. So all the attempt of getting there nice and stealthily, the minute the light came on to he moved off. So that was time number one. Then we had to track the snake and wait for him to settle somewhere. And once he'd settled, give him a couple of minutes and then climbed up in the dark. And uh, by that time the snake was more or less asleep. So. Um, he gave me the opportunity of getting a, a grip on, on the snake. But um, captures like this, not really for uh, people with a fear of heights, because you're working in the dark and it's way up off the ground. I mean, I was eight meters up plus. Um, the snake was closer to 10 meters up. So my feet had to be at about the 8 meter level in order to get all of it. So it was, it was quite a climb. And uh, again, fortunately, even though everything sort of seemed uh, against us actually getting the snake, we managed a, a fairly good capture and uh, everything ran well. Shine torch. He's got the green mamba. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. I got it. Oh, I see it. Got it. See. <laughs> he's got it. Nev's got it! Come on, you guys are brilliant! Okay, grab a coming down, drop! <laughs> okay, just come slowly. Uh, so I'll do it now, now. You'll come down the tree first. <laughs> Just hold that ladder. Well done, Nev. Awesome. Good. Yep, he's got it. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Let me just come this way and get you. No crutches. No, yes. Okay. Do you want to just end off the video, Nev? Uh, it's quite an exciting climb. Okay, <laughs> nothing's good from there. No, it doesn't See that snake? Dangerous. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to press star. It was a... Very dangerous. Looks a lot very dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. And then what I do is, I've got the head. And I'm now going to grab hold of the tail as well. What? And then... The snake is falling the bubble. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, I'm going to have to stop. So we just wrapped up this catcher at Waiting Shore. What um, started as a ground based python, which we suspected might have been a night adder, ended up being quite a large green mamba. And we uh, went to eight, eight, nine meters off the ground capture in the dark. So what we presumed would be a, a quick again locate the snake, do the capture, get out, maybe a 15 20 minute ended up being a more than a two hour episode climbing around the tree in the dark trying to catch me in Mombin. But eventually successful. follow-up of the mamba we caught last night that was eight meters up a tree. Beautiful. Turn around the side. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just the scale. Okay, yeah. just where I was standing, just looked like a. Well, that's almost oh, the same kind as that. Really yeah. See, yeah. Really no, just from here, that looked okay. like an injury. I'm um, listening here. This is a huge, huge mumbo. Catch that at night time, eight meters up a um, tree. But it's, it's on a ladder. Good condition. It's full yeah. and sure. This is very pretty. Okay. You just help hold the middle. Yeah. I can do that at the same time. Just sort of take that. Can you stretch a bit more? There we go. Got it. No way, <laughs> how much? 105. <laughs> and you said 1.8? 1 I said 1.8. <laughs> no, this is beautiful. Wow, this is going to be my opinion in a few days. Guaranteed. Let's just see what this is. 
So you got two boys. Is that a yellow dot on his nose? Yes. Okay, well, he's going to be easy to identify. I, I, I thought it was because he was white. Can we that. just get a thing out there and come into it? And the black mouth. Every day you see a green with a black mouth. Oh, they're all this colour. They're all that colour. Oh, like no, it's not black. It's sort of purpley. Uh, purpley like what? Purpley. Oh. Lilac colour. Don't say that. You see, it's not nerves. This is just my hand. What I do. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And you're lying all that. Uh huh. And all I could see was just. Around circle, and you round circle, and you round circle. Of course not. Squeeze, yes, circle's not. Yeah. And, and uh, I looked up there, and then I climbed up in the direction. I put the light on, and it just ran into space. Oh, so I climbed right up, and I put the light on, and I was bumping it up. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how you needed you, eh? Yeah. And that's when I saw that, that yellow on the line. On the Yes, me. I can't get it. Look at that. That is thick and dark and wow. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that show. Uh, nighttime captures are always fun. They're always exhilarating. And uh, our next one also features a night a nighttime capture. So be sure to tune in on, on that one. And don't forget to subscribe. It is free after all. <laughs>